Hey guys, Dan here with special guest Merlin. We always have him join for Food Fanatics. Yes. Um, and <laughs> and we've spin -off. mentioned a spinoff of Film Fanatics. We've mentioned this now a couple of different times, uh, at least I have on my channel, my uh, recent trip to Canada and how I brought back some Canadian treats for us to try on the Food Fanatic show. This sounds cool. I, I don't yeah. think I've ever had any treats from Canada. Okay. Other countries, but I don't think Canada. Well, these are going to be brands that you know. Okay. Um, with different flavors or um, fillings, in the case of some of the chocolate. Hmm. Um, because in the chip department, you've got Ruffles. Ruffles. You've got a Lay's. Okay, well, obviously. And you've got a Doritos. But but uh, flavors that I have never heard of huh. in America and never had before. Uh, and then right. on the candy side, we've got uh, a few candy bars that we'll try. One of which I well, had because I loved it, and I bought like five of them when I was yeah. up in Canada. I'll let you know. Tell me. For some reason, the idea of a Canadian chip, mm -hmm. uh, no offense to any Canadians, but that that doesn't really strike to me. Like we See, we, okay. we live in Pennsylvania, which is kind of like the potato capital I mean, of honest, the country. It's honestly almost the chip capital because you've got hers. You've got yes. Middlesworth. You've got Utz. All the local groups. like A lot I, of locals. No exaggeration. This And I mean, Utz, I think, is a national brand, right? Middlesworth is not, but I think Utz is. I believe so. Hers I, certainly I, is. I just know that's one Regional, of the, those like, little things culturally. Mm -hmm. People go out any other state and like, there's no other variety of uh, potato chips that matches yeah. PA. So yeah. I don't know what, I what agree. Canadian potato chips are like. But we can uh, all agree that Ruffles, Lay's, and Doritos exist here yeah. in one form or another. So, I mean, I like all of those in mm -hmm. some form. But the like, picturing Canadian brands and like what what flavors they'll be, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I haven't I, told you anything I, about I, the flavors. I don't know anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little trepidatious, but I am. Okay. Who knows how this will turn out? I actually am kind of excited about the candy though. When okay. Because when I so, think Canadian, I think maple syrup. I think I think sweetness. I'm like, okay, yes. maybe this really sweet stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm more so you want to probably end with the candy. We like to end on this show with with what we think we'll like the best, which is I, so, I don't get me wrong. You know I love the savory stuff. I love right, like a potato right. chip, but I I really don't know what to. Especially since we we really hit a lot of different flavors with yes. the experimental stuff. Here. Yes, um, and especially with that Lay's uh, contest that they do every year, which we've done a couple of food fanatics already. Hit about. or miss, I think, um, so far, right? Very hit or miss, yeah. I would say. Yeah, uh, some of their older flavors in the contest I like better. Um, so I, maybe we should start with a Lay's then. Sure. Okay. So, so, what a segue. So the Lay's bag, now I've heard of these. Lay's ketchup. Ketchup flavor. Well, Dan. Um, uh, have you had a ketchup chip? I never have, but okay. let's, let's You've be You've heard up. of it, right? No. Okay, because I had heard these were a thing. But let's be honest. I hope these are good. I got a family-sized bag of this let's GD be thing. Let's honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm. Potatoes, fries... Ketchup seems to Chip. seems to go together. Not a big stretch, so let's right. try it. Okay, I'm down. Um, I don't love the packaging because it looks like they're literally slicing tomatoes, or that they're burnt. They're, or they're, they're salami. The, or, <laughs> yes, you're they look, right. They look like big salami. They don't really look like uh, well, like you're chips correct. with that with that seasoning. You're correct. Just the angle on the picture um, or that photoshopping or whatever. So I'm not loving that, but let's let's see here. Uh, Ingredients? I can't even tell when it's fresh until because I don't read French. Uh, fresh until fresh's juice juice qua I don't know. Okay. Just a qua. I'm not gonna try it. Um <laughs> Well, you asked about the uh, ingredients. We'd like to read those, right? Specially selected potatoes. That's a given. <coughs> Vegetable oil, seasoning. Um, nothing really uh, vinegar solids, uh, modified cornstarch, spices. The ever popular, just generic spices. Melange. That's because these people don't like to reveal the secret. The secret. It's like KFC and the secret uh, seasoning. Uh, and all that. right, but is there so, anything about ketchup in there? Tomato? No, it doesn't look like it. No, no tomatoes. No real tomato. Well, not promising. Wait, hold on. Dehydrated vegetables, which includes tomato. All right. All right. Dehydrated vegetables includes tomato, garlic, and onion. Is garlic a vegetable? I guess it is. I guess so. Yeah. I didn't think so, but what do I know? All right, so here we go, and you can read about it in American or in the English or French. Let's try them. All right, now we do potatoes on what a, uh, a scale of four. We change it every time, but it's always on four. Okay. okay. I don't know if it's potatoes or what the grade is, but it's always out of four. Let's, and we do halves. And let this time for this particular one, let's hmm. do four tomatoes. Okay. Well, I, you smell it first before you taste it. Or here. ketchup. I, I was going. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just, but you actually. I like, to, I like to put my nose right in the bag. What do you think? I think the smell. I like the smell. 
It. I'm not getting a big tomato hit though. Um, I'm getting. I, I'm right? getting. I'm getting ketchup though. Okay. I'm getting the sweet ketchup. It looks. Looks like a ketchup chip. Oh, mm. big, big ketchup pep. Very flavorful. Yeah. Wow. It's, I have to say, I actually really like these. This is nice. I mean, very I, flavorful I, I for sure. Dare I want to say it's almost overpowering over the actual potato mm -hmm. element, but you know what? I, I mean, like the flavor. Yeah, I love the. Well, you know, good. depending on hmm. who makes it and what the flavor is, it's good. sometimes I prefer an overpowering. Hmm. It depends. Wow. And for me, not really liking tomatoes. Now, I do like ketchup, mm -hmm. but I don't like tomatoes that much. These are pretty darn good. Well, I guess it's tomato based, so that's all that really right. matters. Right. Yeah, I guess that's I mean, true. Obviously, ketchup is the flavor. Could have one more. Right. Yeah. Honestly, though. Uh, but it does taste like ketchup, for sure. It smells like it tastes pretty much. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think this definitely, if you told me um, about a ketchup chip, this would be the flavor, I think. Minor. Don't know if it's a complaint, but an observation. Okay. I think that, I, I guess there might be different varieties, but with ketchup, I feel like this flavor is very sweet, as opposed to kind of the more yes, salty nature of ketchup. Yes, it it's is. It's more of a sweeter ketchup. It's not a ketchup flavor for for fry dipping, because mm -hmm. that, of course, adds extra salt to it. Yeah. I think it's more of a ketchup for like, um, what else would you dip in ketchup? Like a shrimp, I guess, or something. That's more cocktail sauce, though, Some, I think. I, I dip uh, my um, fish in ketchup sometimes. Sometimes you dip, yeah. I know fish tartar sticks, sauce, maybe. Like, um, um, I'm trying to think what else I would dip in ketchup. Probably not much. Uh, well, but I put ketchup on like a hot dog. Yeah, that's what but I'm But then thinking. again, that's a bit salty. Not as salty as french fries, though. I wouldn't want something this sweet on my hot dog. Yeah, this is definitely a sweet, a sweeter ketchup. Which I, I like. like it though. Listen, I I am really impressed with these chips. I mean, I don't know if, know if I remember them quite as well, but I think that might be among my favorites of these flavored of lays. the flavored lays that we've had. And this is a regular Canadian flavor. This is not oh. a special contest flavor. Like this okay. is a regular normal Canadian flavor. Does that mean regular normal like international like for all these or just in Canada normal? In Canada always. I don't know about anywhere okay. else. So this is a Lay's Canadian staple yeah. flavor of chips. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, which well, is, I guess, why I've heard of it before. Well, I've, I just knew we never sold them here. I think maybe hers tried a ketchup not long ago. Hmm. I didn't. I don't think I had it though. That's pretty cool. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I I, I don't want to go too high on it. Um, but it's certainly of the of the lays we've tried among the best. I'm gonna give it three it tomatoes. Good? You want to do tomatoes for this? Can I give it three and a half tomatoes? I was actually thinking I'm three and a I'm, half. Maybe. I'm gonna go three point five. I'll, Boy, I gotta say, this is a good chip. <laughs> That's a really good chip. Yeah. Okay. Well, wow. I'm, I, I don't know. I, I think well, it's only you know downhill what? from here. Hey, I, I was about to say, nothing else will excite me now. I won't All right. be disappointed. So here is... At least we had that. Um, with, with Ruffles, <laughs> let's start with a flavor that we know, but, but that Ruffles doesn't make here. All right. And that's salt and vinegar. Like a salt and no, vinegar? Do, do you? Okay. I do. I'm a salt and vinegar man myself. I really enjoy these. Ruffles are not my favorite chip. You know what? I, um, I know I've probably had them, but I feel like... I rarely go out of my way to get a ruffle. I like the baked. Baked ruffles. Baked ruffles is my favorite. Hmm. Regular ruffles, I'll go for a hers or a um, any really other kind every every single time. Huh. But I do love their baked. Um, so I, I don't know, but I love salt and vinegar flavor, and ruffles does not offer it in America. Hmm. Uh, and not many ingredients here. Uh, just the potatoes, vegetable oil, some seasoning, salt, lactose, natural flavor, citric acid, and malic acid, and that's it. Huh, it's pretty basic. Yeah, about half the ingredients of the uh, ketchup chips. All right. Now, the the scent of oh, an overpowering chip is what will determine whether this is good or not, I Probably, think. Probably, yeah. It's a little overpowering. I definitely smell worse. I, I, yeah, I, I was going to say, it's not quite as bad as some that I smell, but it's definitely vinegary. I, I like vinegar. In fact, when we clean with vinegar at work, it always makes me hungry for the uh, salt and vinegar. I, I'm actually not getting as much of the vinegar. Is that right? And I'm just getting salt. More of a salt. Yeah, I'm getting more salt. Man. All right. All right. A little more vinegar when I put it right up against my nose. Hmm. Not bad. So this actually, the ratio is pretty good. I don't think this is overly vinegary, which sometimes they can be. I think hers, salt and vinegar, is too vinegary. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. 
Uh, I like hers typically as my favorite chip, but not not that flavor. I think you're right. The ratio between salt and vinegar is good. And you know what I think is also really kind of balancing it out really well hmm. is the thickness of the chip. The ruffle creates a better crunch. Yes. Like against a flat chip, it feels like you don't really get as actually, much. Actually, that's that's a great point. Um, and actually, the the other ruffle kind that I like, speaking of the, the thickness, they have these like, I forget what they're called, but they're like double thick chips. Hmm. Uh, and you get a real big flavor hit and a nice crunch on them. Mm. Uh, I, I do think Ruffles, uh, certainly these Canadian Ruffles, does make a, a thicker chip. This, I really like this. This is one of the best salt and vinegar chips I've ever had. I was actually going to say, like, it kind of is. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I really am just liking the crunch. Yeah. It's these ruffles. It's very satisfying. Well, we have three ruffle flavors, so... All right. Um, so if you like these, maybe you'll enjoy the other ones. I, I think this is 3.5 vinegar bottles for me. <laughs> I'm going to echo that. because yeah, I, I, I think these I, are great. I'm actually really impressed by that chip. I'm, I'm not not been let down so far. Ooh. Thank you for we reminding me. We should clear that. our palate. I, I don't say, know why we didn't the, the last time. Because we got so excited by the, 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 the ketchup. Well, you're not wrong. All right, so now these are two of my favorite flavors but never seen in a chip before. Okay. Sour cream and bacon. Huh. We've had sour cream and onion. We've had sour cream and chives. We've had uh, cheddar and bacon. But I've not ever heard of a sour cream and bacon chip. But I love both of those things. I have not heard of it either. And I love sour cream on a loaded potato skin, which typically includes bacon. Correct. So I, I think I'm going to really like these. I'm so going to say... You're not uh, so much into it? Not quite as much, maybe. Okay. We'll see. Do you not like sour cream in general? I know I love sour cream, okay. but um, I don't I, I don't necessarily need bacon with it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't need it, but it's nice on a potato skin. A potato which skin. Which is a, like a potato chip. True. But I, I don't know. I like I like cheese. I like the sour hmm. cream. I'm not sure. That doesn't really have a, a strong scent at all to me. I'm just getting a sweetness again. I don't get any sour cream. Yeah, I don't, I don't get any bacon. I don't smell any bacon or any sour cream. I'm going to let you uh, have the first, first nice chip I'm going to go in first. All right, hold Let's on. see if there's any actual bacon in here. Probably not. No, no bacon at all here, huh? Yeah. This is oh. about as many uh, f uh, ingredients as the um, Lay's. What do you think? Hey, it includes brown sugar. I like that. I don't like it. Okay. It does include real sour cream. I mean, cream. it's not a bad flavor. I, I mean, you might like it more, and I don't, I don't not like it. I probably it. will. I uh, love, I love these I'm, flavors, I'm not, say. I'm not crazy about this. Hmm. Yeah, something's <laughs> off. Something's, something's off weird. about it. Is it, it. weird to you? I'll, I'll try well, another one. I don't. I don't really taste. Like I don't think the flavors. It's not sour. I'm not getting sour cream or or bacon. I, I don't taste bacon at all. I taste. I taste sour cream, in terms of damn a sour cream chip. It like, tastes like when it first hits my mouth. Uh -huh. It's like brown sugar, almost. Well, I did say there's brown sugar in here. Oh, you're that right. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay. So here's the thing. Sour cream by itself, I think, tastes very different from a sour cream chip. Okay. Like sour cream and onion. Sure. I don't necessarily get, like, the, the same thing as a daisy sour cream, a dollop of daisy. <laughs> um, this sour cream in this tastes like the sour cream in, like, a hers chip. Mm -hmm. But there's zero bacon flavor to this. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're calling it sour cream and bacon. Sour cream and brown sugar. I mean, I'll say... I mean, look, I'll eat the rest of this bag. This is not something I'm going to throw away. It's weirding me out. But I, um, yeah, this is not a, a, a is, thing I think I would crave. You know what it is? Tell me. It's just way sweeter than I, I'd expect from this kind of advertised flavor. Yeah, I'm flavor. not sure. I mean. It's, it's just throwing me off. You know, sometimes I have uh, maple bacon. Mm. And so maybe that's sort of the flavor they're going to, more of a maple bacon. Maybe if I was expecting that, I would have been more okay with it. Yeah. But, but I don't know if I would want the maple bacon in my chip. Yeah, this is not. Se. This is a lot like some of those Lay's flavors we've had recently, where um, it it's doesn't taste anything like, like they they're ever saying. Does. You know? Oh, this has this and this, and it's like, well, I don't get either of those flavors. So what are you talking? And then we get we always get a little mad when it's not advertising at all. Well, but yeah, it because has. I mean. Who wants to get a sour cream and bacon chip that tastes like neither? They're lying to us. <laughs> or, or, and not intentionally, maybe, but it, it's, yeah, it didn't work, you know. I, uh, I don't care for this. I'm not a fan, Dan. So fan. let's see. Uh, of uh, I think out of four... Out of four... Um, I'm probably going to give it a one and a half. I was gonna one say, and a half bacon strips. 
I, you know, I feel like... You're going to give it a two? It's not a total bomb. No, I mean, I, like, here's so, the thing. I will eat more of these chips. It's edible and I'll everything. I'll finish the bag. There's worse things. But the, the flavor just is not there for me. It's bland and no <laughs> sour cream, no bacon... Uh, That's it. All right, it's you a know brown what? sugar potato chip. I was gonna go two, but you're right. Like, because I don't really love the flavor. I thought about going two, but I can't. That not in good conscience. It's totally wrong. One, yeah. I'll stick with you. One point five. One I'm and a half. Okay. I'm, just, I'm like, uh. some of these are not. Uh, oh, I'm losing. Some, some of them candy, are falling but, on the ground. Yeah. Uh, all right, so now we've got the final ruffle, and this is Ooh. jalapeno cheddar. I'm liking this. Now I'm not sure how spicy this is gonna uh, go. You're you, the know, spicy you know guy. me in the spicy. I know. Um, but sometimes it works out. Um, Whoa. And then sometimes it's just sometimes falls. I'm just following things. Okay, <laughs> so let's see here. Um, cheddar cheese, yeah. Jalapeno powder. So it'll probably be a little spicy. Jalapeno powder. This will be. It's a cheesy spice. It says the ultimate flavor for spice lovers. I'm not sure if okay. that's me. I might be into this. <laughs> Him, I don't let's know. Let's see. I don't know about that. All right, let's take the take the whiff here of this. Okay. There's a slight hint of spice under there. Oh, yeah, I can smell the spice for sure. Right. But it seems like a doable spice. Yeah, it doesn't, like, seem, it doesn't overpowering. seem overpowering. I'm going to get a nice big one. Here. Oh, nice. You're risky now. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it's I'm, seasoned. I'm going to go well. for yours a concentrated is, season. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, gonna say yours is more seasoned, seasoned yeah. than mine. All right. Hmm. Okay. More cheesy, though. Mm hmm. I like this a lot. Is, it, is the spice too bland for you? Give me a second. The kick it, it, it's comes, comes a, little a little bit slow, at the end. Subtle. But no, it's Boy, not. Boy, I like this. This isn't that spicy at this all. This is about as, as as spicy as I like something. So barely you spicy. You can... Well, it's... I'm sorry. Right. I'm not trying to... Spicy you know. enough that you can that you can taste that it's spicy. <laughs> but not have but, your taste buds... But, like, <laughs> I could literally eat this whole bag probably and not feel like, oh, my God, what did I do? Now, maybe... This could sneak Calorie-wise, but... <laughs> you think? Let me let me get, like, a more... Yeah, okay, more here's a more, more concentrated one. There you go. Try to get a, a lighter one here. Hmm. No, this is great. I really like this. I do too. It's got a nice kick. It is, but, but probably not for you though, right? Is it bland? Well, I don't mind it to be a little spicier. Okay. Than this, but like, I like the fact that I can actually taste the chip. That's the thing. Like the the ones that, like we're gonna do Doritos in a second. And it's not <laughs> a spicy flavor, but. Doritos like to burn you. has like eight different different spicy flavors, and they're all too hot for me. I can't like maybe one of them I could do I like the I, lightest one. But is it? Are they the ones that have the? These are good. It might be Doritos, or it might be you know some of those. Um, I like those chips, but there's that one type of thing. They're kind of like Cheetos, but they're really really spicy. Flaming like, hot Cheetos. I, I, yeah, I've tried they're the flaming. Uh, it's I like, can't. It literally. I can't. It's just. Well, there's no cheese flavor to it. No, it's like all this has a order. really good mix, I think, of uh, cheese to jalapeno. Right. You uh, try another one? one more, but I, I will say this though: mm -hmm. if you do like a slightly spicier chip, this might let you down because there isn't really I agree. real kick to it. I agree. I, I don't think there's a huge kick on it, but uh, it tastes like jalapeno and cheddar. It I, I like. There's another company that makes a, a jalapeno cheddar snack. I'm not even sure if it's a chip or if it's like a cheese it kind of thing or. But it tastes very similar to that, and the ratio is about the same. Hmm. A nice, nice little kick of jalapeno, but you can still taste the cheese. You can still taste the potato. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah, that was quite good. That actually might be my favorite of the ones we've had. It's a three and a half jalapenos for me. <sighs> um... That okay. salt and vinegar was I, good. I'm going to give it a three. Okay. Only because I think it should have been a teeny bit spicier. Yeah. Just a little bit. For me, that was the perfect amount of spice. I know. Yeah. Okay, now I'm very intrigued about these Doritos. Okay. Okay. All right. We know Doritos for its nacho cheese, the Cool Ranch, and then all the spicy flavors. Yes. But have we ever heard of sour cream Doritos? No. I have not either. Look at that packaging. And this is actually a, a limited edition. Okay. So uh, I think a lot of the ones we've had so far are their normal flavors, mm. but I think uh, but this Doritos, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's got the tang of sour cream that will send you into orbit, <laughs> it says. And they didn't go with anything. Not, no sour cream and onion, no sour cream and bacon. It's just, this is a sour cream just chip. Just the cream, people. So I guess it would be like dipping a tortilla dip in sour cream. And maybe we can dip it in sour cream uh, um, later. That would actually be pretty Sounds solid. Good, actually. Um, it's got all the, the classic ingredients you'd want. Sour cream, onion powder, tomato powder, 
um, and then garlic powder. Okay. I want to be just hit in the face with a nice sour cream smell here. I'm not getting much of anything, actually. It smells like Doritos to me. Doesn't smell like it. Doesn't even smell like yeah, like it smells like just plain tortilla it's, chips. It smells like yeah, tortilla chips with a slight Dorito scent. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I open like a bag of nacho cheese Doritos, yeah. you can smell the nacho cheese. It smells like weak old Doritos. Is that right? It they, they don't smell fresh to me. They, okay, they smell old. Well, let's try it's them. More uh, muted taste. I mean, I took this trip a month ago, so these can't be too old. No, and they've been sealed. I know. I'm just saying it smells like less strong. This tastes exactly like a Cool, cool ranch, ranch Dorito. It tastes like a Cool Ranch Dorito to me. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. That, and that's it. I mean, which is not bad. I like Cool Ranch Doritos, but they already have that flavor. Well, let's see. Maybe, maybe it's slightly different. You know, the second one was a little bit more flavorful, but still, this is just a Cool Ranch Dorito. I want to say it tastes like very, very slightly different, but... I don't think it does. It's It's... Maybe. I think if you did a blind taste test on these with a Cool this Ranch and, and this, I'm looking for it. I don't think you'd tell the darn difference. One more, one more. Okay. I feel like we try three chips with everyone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ratio. That's a straight two to me, because it's it's good, but this is a flavor that already exists, hands down. Right. Honestly, it just tastes. It you know what it is? It honestly tastes like Cool Ranch, but. I actually don't think it tastes as good as a normal Cool Ranch. No? No. I think it tastes exactly the, the same. Maybe less flavorful. That's what I'm saying. Because it doesn't have the ranch... Um, Flavor. Power yeah. on it, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. It tastes like a less flavorful Cool Ranch. So I'm going to give it a 1.5. I actually think it's like... Wow. It, it just smells... Worst of the batch. It's not that good. It's That's disappointing. So what we've learned so far... And by the way, my favorite chip of all time is the Hers Sour Cream and Onion. Mm -hmm. What we've learned here is these sour cream flavors are terrible. <laughs> the Ruffles and the Doritos. And that's two different companies. Because uh, Doritos is... Oh, you know what? They're not. They're both Frito-Lay. Frito I didn't know Ruffles was Frito-Lay. Maybe it is in Canada. Because look, that's yeah, so Frito-Lay right on, on the bottom. On the bottom, yeah. I'll have to look into that. Maybe they are all Frito-Lay. I, I guess. I. Uh, well, anyway, they, they can't do a sour cream to save their lives. It doesn't seem so. Uh, boy. All right, well, let's cleanse our palates here. I thought we were going to close uh, with a, a good one. Mm. Saving Because I love Doritos. But let's instead shift gears to some candy. Sure. Some of my candy fell on the floor here. Okay. Um, as you do. As, as you do. I think we have three... Yes, okay. So See, there's, these look interesting. There's three different kinds of candies here. Um, and each actually ha comes in a little two-pack. So you can take the rest of yours home if you oh, like it. Oh, well, thank you. So this is my favorite. If We're going to with that. These ones I have not tried. Okay. Um, and like I said at the top of the show, it's brands we know. So this is made by Nestle. Okay. We, we know Nestle. It's called a Big R Turk. Bigger Turk. Oh. Turk, Turk reminds me of turkey. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Coming Thanksgiving. <laughs> or uh, Turk from uh, Scrubs. Yeah. Um, but it comes apparently from... Turkey, the country. It says it's a Turkish delight. So, okay. Uh, Nestle's. Let's see what's in it first before we partake, right? Sure. All right. I'm um, confused. Bigger Turk is perfect for sharing or saving some. Okay, well, I don't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't need to know. All right. I already there, did there, that. Here the we go. Okay. All right. So here are the ingredients. Sure. Sugar, of course. Glucose, modified cornstarch, milk ingredients, blah, blah, blah. Cocoa butter, cocoa mass. mass. So it's going to be chocolatey. Citric acid, soy lithicin or Lectin. whatever. Natural flavor and color. Uh, and that's it. But it says may contain, may contain peanuts, yeah. tree nuts, and eggs. But nothing in the ingredients would lead us to believe that it does. Huh. This seems like it's going to be just a standard chocolate bar. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. It, no, you know that's what? I, true. I will tell you something new about it. I've never seen the ingredients yeah. chocolate mass before. That is this true. This makes me think like so a thick, this may be like a chocolate thick, pound. It might be like chocolate, um, um, like layer, not, like yeah, like, like a nugget like, kind of, or yeah, kind of like a nougat. Like if you bought um, like an assortment of chocolate, mm -hmm. and how some like one of them might have like sort of whipped oh. chocolate in the chocolate, mm -hmm. so like whipped. Okay. Uh, all right, so. I guess here you can have oh. half a bar, and then if you like it, you can just take it home. All right. Uh, all right. So let's try this. 
They're interestingly uh, shaped. They look like ribs. Doesn't it look like a McRib? <laughs> but in a chocolate bar? I like the smell. Definitely smells very chocolatey. Hmm. And I like that they're in like five little pieces. I'm just going to rip off one little piece That's here and see. Oh, 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 I don't know look, if you, you can't. Oh, oh, the chocolate mass. <laughs> it's too it's big. Gooey. It's this big goo thing okay. so you can split. Let's see. I'm just going to bite the end. Yeah. Oh, it's a gelatin. Mm. It's a gelatin, which I love. Hmm. I'm not sure I've ever had it in a chocolate bar, though. I usually have it like in the little, like a little Gertrude Hawk, whatever. It's weird. That's really weird. I think it's a. I can't tell what the gelatin is. It's, like, it's is not it chocolate. strawberry? It's definitely. You know what I was thinking as There's I was no smelling it? There's no flavors of berry. This is just a theory, tell but me. When I was smelling it, do you know what the smell it reminds me of? Mm -hmm. it smells like raisins, almost like a raisinette. Could this be like Oh, grape, it does kind of smell like raisinettes. It could be like a grape. Kind of. Yeah, it could like, be. I, and I love raisinettes. Yeah, you do. But the, the texture is just bizarre. Huh. This is a very odd candy. It's a very odd treat. I, I, I like it though. Yeah, it, I it, it, it's um, I like it's it cool. for sure. Uh, I'm gonna. I only got one of these, so I'm gonna save the rest of mine for later. Do you want to save yours for sure, later? Sure, I'll, I'll take it with. Um, All right. Yeah. We'll <laughs> save that for later. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, we should grade it, I guess. Oh yeah. I, uh, I liked it. That was very. Um, that might be the most unique candy I've ever had. Very unique. It was really bizarre. Uh, and I think for that reason, I'll give it a three. I like my candy to be with more uh, nuts and oomph, um, but I do like those little raspberry right. gels and stuff you get in the store. I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. I like that it's unique, but I agree. I like more chocolate. Yeah. I like more. When I hear chocolate mass, I, I think it's going to be I was a thinking like, big burst I was of think, chocolate. I was thinking crunchier, dark, or right, like some right. chocolate. I also like nuts or something. Mm -hmm. um, the, and I, even though I thought it was unique, the the texture was kind of, not something I just go to a lot. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 2.5. Okay. It's cool. but Yeah, but it is very cool. But I'm not like super solar. It's interesting. Now here, I, this I think I'm going to love. Eat more. Eat more, it's called. And their slogan is the original dark toffee peanut chew. Oh, this could be good. Now listen, one of my favorite candies out there is the peanut chew. I love peanut From chew. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, Gold, Goldberg's peanut chews are great, and they are made in dark chocolate, so it's probably going to be similar to this, but plus toffee. I like, I do like a you peanut know? chew. I do. Um, oh, and let's let's look at this. I told you it was brands we know, made in Hershey, Canada. Hershey, Canada. Imported here by Hershey, Canada to Ontario. I didn't know Hershey had a plant in Canada. Well, they are Hershey. Well, that's true. You're right. I guess yes, they have, they have this the one plan here in Hershey. <laughs> I know. I'm so stupid. Wouldn't they be so overworked? I'm so dumb. Um, <laughs> no, no. Okay, so the first ingredient here is peanuts. Now this I like. Peanuts, corn syrup, sugar, unsweetened chocolate. Um, the chocolates. corn syrup, palm oil, vegetable oil, blah, blah, blah. Modified milk ingredients. So there's a lot of ingredients. There isn't... I don't, it doesn't say anything about toffee, though. Mm. Maybe these are all the ingredients that make up a toffee. I don't know. Perhaps some uh, of these say may not always be present. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, well, they can't. That's weird. They can't guarantee that all the the, the ingredients are, made are mixed the same properly. Way, I guess. Okay, it's kind of like how the other ones that there might be eggs because we're on the same <laughs> conveyor. Right, but oh, right. a little egg might be in here. Okay. Well, I like the peanuts as the first ingredient. Okay, they're sure of that. They're sure of that. And I like toffee. So <laughs> the dark. Oh, may or may not contain now, toffee. Looks wise, this bar is unlike anything we've seen here. I think these alien this is bars. Very interesting. Look at this thing. That's really interesting. This isn't. This doesn't split in two, so we're gonna split it in two uh, here. All right. Oh, and it's like, uh, it's like thick. Very thick. It's it's uh, stretchy. Uh, yeah. There right. you go. Thank you. Stretch it out here. I like Ooh. the peanuts are on the outside of the bar. How does yeah, it smell? Smell it. Smell it. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, this might get my first four on food <laughs> food fanatics. I'm ready. All right. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay. So this is basically what is inside the peanut chew. Without the dark chocolate. Without the dark chocolate outside, which huh. I do love the, the mix of the chew. It's not, this is not a four for me, but boy, it's damn good. I don't taste the toffee though, do you? No. I, I taste peanuts and unsweetened peanuts chocolate, which is what this is. And chocolate, which is what it's advertised. Which I think... I, I prefer I would, a peanut chew over this for sure. I was about to say, like... Yeah. The one thing that would probably make this perfect if it was actually chocolate. If it was covered in chocolate, yeah. <laughs> so, it's cool. It's cool. 
I this like is, that one's cool. This is a three for me. Maybe even a two and a half. Oh shit. Because I like the um I like the flavor of it, but yeah, it's it's you know it's a two point five. Because I don't taste the toffee, so again not as advertised. But it's the filling of a peanut chew. Which we already have, and I already love. Well, I'd probably give like a peanut chew like a three or a three point five. See, peanut chew is a four for me. Th this is like a, it's like a two for me. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, it's like it's, yeah, it's, it's not it's bad, cool, and it's interesting. But I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for it though. Like if I saw it, I'm like, eh, like okay, yeah, like like is this a cool snack? Yes, but like, are there so many others that would attract? Right. You know what I'm saying on like, the shelf. If yeah. you saw an Eat More bar, or a, would you ever buy it again? I get a Kit Kat or something. Right. Like, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Correct. You know? Yep. All right, well, that's that was depressing. But it's still good. It's still good. <laughs> it was okay. It was okay, the but... Pre, you know, I like the presentation. Yeah, the presentation. And it looks cool. It looks really cool. It looks like no other candy I've you ever know, seen. You know what I'll say about these so, two so that's far? That's for here? sure. Tell me. Both of these seem like experimental art in candy bar. <laughs> okay. They're, they're cool. Yes. You know? It's as if we're in Wonka's factory right now, touring. And, and they're just making new stuff. <laughs> and it's like, is this good? Like, well, you shut up! <laughs> you don't deserve the candy! Remember, that's the best part we yes, preached out. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I, do I remember. Oh, I'm sorry, gee, of um, course. What am I, who am I asking here? Okay, so this is my favorite. I've had like five of these in Canada. Okay. And so my brothers loved it too. too. So, uh, But again, a brand we know, Cadbury. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's called the Crunchy. And now here's something I noticed um, when, um, well, a couple things. One, when I went to Epcot and they did the whole candy around the world thing. Okay. And then um, my my friend Sheldon, uh, it, his family comes from England. Okay. So for Christmas last year, he got like a big box of candy from England. Yeah. Uh, England, and I guess apparently Canada, is into this sponge toffee. And it is so GD good uh, that I, I really... Sponge toffee. Sponge toffee. Um, Why are all these candy bars weird? I don't know, but they're they're cool, all some right, of them. All right. Sugar's the first one here. Sugar, glucose, Sugar. You know, all this stuff. Okay, modified nonsense, vegetable oil, cocoa. All right. Finally, cocoa and chocolate are like ingredients six and eight. All right. But again, I don't know what makes toffee, so maybe... we got to look at Someone tell us what is the ingredient yeah, for toffee. Yeah, please, please let us know. All right, so again, these come in too, so you can oh, have oh. your own bar to try. Hopefully this is uh, good. We should cleanse our palates again, yeah, though. It's say, been let, a little bit. Put this on my lap here. Hopefully not drop it. Mm. All right. So, now I already know what this tastes like, but... Do you think I'll like it? Yeah, I mean, everybody that's tried it so far seems to really love it. How's it smell? I haven't smelled it. Ooh. It smells like chocolate to me. Yeah, but like a, a rich chocolate, though. Like a deep, not necessarily a dark chocolate, but a rich and if it's, chocolate. Um, mm. If there's a flavor concealed, well, I, I can't smell it. So, um, okay. All right, I'll go for it. Let's try it. Oh. Yeah, it's crunchy. I should tell you that. You could lose a tooth, maybe. Mm. What do you think of the sponge? Now, look inside of here. This is what a sponge toffee candy looks like. It's toffee, but it's it's not as dense, so it's more like no, not like as hard. a score bar or a Heath bar. I think is a little overpowering. I like Heath bars. The are toffee really flavor, good, though. they're good, but they're better. I think, like on if something. they made minis, like they don't make mini Heaths, but like on a Blizzard, right. they're good. Or all right, I'm gonna tell you right up front, Dan. Mm -hmm. I think this was really good. Yeah, and but I no, no buts. Uh -huh. I, I think I think this um. Why don't they sell these in America? Like I, I these sponge toffee bars are freaking amazing. If they like, I feel like this could be like drizzled as like a topping on ice cream or something, and that's like that that yeah. rich. Like this would be great to complement mm -hmm. something else, but have yep. a bite actually. Yeah, please. I'll let you put yours in the wrapper here to take home. Oh yeah, please do. I like giving prizes to my Thank food fanatics. See, yes. there's other reasons I come here. <laughs> is if we get lucky, I can take stuff home. Right. <laughs> Whew. From no man. What do you think? Isn't that great? You can see why we bought so many. I think that's fantastic. Because I knew I knew about the sponge toffee from the English candy. And so when I saw it on the on the stand, I said to my brothers, I was like, oh my God, you guys have to try this toffee thing. And uh, we just got hooked on them. You know, um, tell me. I might give it a four. Yeah, it's a four for me. I, I could see myself it's, like... It's a four for me. Really getting addicted to those and getting sick. <laughs> and I actually, I think... 
Yeah, I bought another one. <laughs> and I've already eaten one that I brought home. So, I mean, I, I took home a bunch, Sweet. and I had a bunch in Canada. Yeah, they're great, That's very good. They? I like that one. Um, so, there, there's your hot tip. Uh, if you can get a, uh, a sponge toffee candy mm. imported cheaply, because they had them in Epcot, too. Huh. Which, again, I knew from, from Sheldon that... So, when I saw them in Epcot, I'm like, oh, I'm buying a couple of these. Because hmm. um, they're just... They're great. Yeah. That's very good. And I wish Cadbury would make them here. I don't know why they don't. Maybe they tested it and nobody in America liked it. I don't know. That seems odd to me that people wouldn't like it. Yeah. I don't know. No, I think there's a market I think for it's it. very tasty. I think the the combination of... Um, or the ratio, I should say, of chocolate to toffee is great. I like the lighter, airy mm -hmm. toffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hands down the winner. Today. I think they could definitely do minis of those. Oh, yeah, dude. That would be good. Yeah, I don't know why they don't do mini Heaths. I've never seen one. Do Pro they? Probably because they like to sell them in bulk. Because when you think of Heath, is like the fancy. Yeah, it's you know, like a so Toblerone. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's like Toblerone. So where they could do yes. Toblerone, Toblerone minis might be really good. Too. Oh, I would love them. Oh, man. They'd be very good. Uh, well, so we've we've uh, settled on, I think, the jalapeno cheddar maybe is our favorite, or maybe the salt and vinegar ruffle. I like the ketchup, too, chips. actually. Actually, the ketchup was pretty ketchup good. It was pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with my three on the ketchup, but it was very good. Mm -hmm. um, and the candy was two misses uh, and, a, and a real winner. They were, like, the, all the candies were interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I tried them all. Um, yes. But, but definitely the last one, the crunchy, was, was very good. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. All right, so so that's Food Fanatics, Canadian edition. That was cool. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. We should do... Uh, we should try another... Uh, you know what we should do, actually, uh, with Christmas coming up? We should do, like, our favorite holiday foods or something. Oh, uh, our ho yeah, holiday our snacks. holiday or snacks. Holiday or, um, it seems to be snacks on this show, because I'm a well, chip fan, well, and we've done candy twice. All right, well, all right, technically... That's the easiest thing to do. We, we should do... I mean, you're some, not going to bring a pound cake here or something. Well, we'll have to plan it out better, uh -huh. but, like, but we should try to do other foods, because so far we are advocating <laughs> snacks and junk food, which barely constitutes as food. Yeah. So, I, uh... We're snack I don't, fanatics. I don't, snack right? fanatics. Yeah. No, you're right though. We should try to. We should try to Branch do some out other. A little bit. A little bit. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe this for Christmas. Right, we'll, we'll think about some things. We will. Yeah. We will. Uh, but this was very good. What a snack uh, platter here. Yes. Right. Uh, all right. So that's it. Thanks for watching. There's a ton of videos up on the channel. Merlin uh, has some things going on on his channel. Mm -hmm. uh, end of the year stuff, I guess, well, is coming up for both of us. Yeah, I did. A, I did a podcast talking about uh, expected like movies for next year. Yes, that was that was great. That was like an hour long show. Yeah, my my buddy um, uh, O W C Cyborg. Yeah, um, I, I've had him on a couple times, so we we kind of go through those. And there are some that was really movies. interesting. Oh. Because uh, I had forgotten about some of the big big ones coming no, out. I'll, I forgot I'll, Ghostbusters was coming out. I didn't think anything. Yeah, I, you know? I was like, I forgot there's not that many things coming out. Scared. Then I realized, <laughs> right. oh, there actually are quite a few yeah. still coming out. Yeah, so yeah if you're a movie that. fan, that's a good watch for sure. I, I got um, another uh, Flamethrowers in Cinema with a more popular film, oh. this one. That, okay. And I'm also going to be doing Ninja Scrolls, so an anime movie for okay. Joe Loves Movies. So Very good. I'm going to try to get those I've out. I've got to get back on Joe Loves Movies to well, do something right. since we erased uh, Coming to America. Speaking of which, since Coming to America comes out towards the end of next year, yeah. I feel like you'll come That's back. That's the time for sure. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll do a full thing. But yeah. I'd like to get you on before then because... We still got to do the uh, time machine, I think. Actually, yeah, that that's a good one, and I haven't, I still haven't seen the newer version, but the classic I can always watch, so I'll watch that again that, too. That's why I want it because now you love the yeah. original, and the new one I would love to hear your thoughts because I know you love uh, Guy Pierce so much. I hate him, right? Is that are you being facetious? <laughs> yes. Okay, I was going to say I think I, think I hate him. him. But back in the day, you used to be oh man, I hate I him. I haven't seen anything of his in a while. He doesn't really. I think the last thing I remember him being in was Iron Man three. So what does that tell you? Oh yeah, he was the like the dapper the was, dapper guy that turned out to be one of the villains. Yes, not, can't not say the that villain because that was the Mandal uh, no, Mandalorian. The, yes, uh, he, Man he was the Mandalorian, Mandalorian the whole time. <laughs> Would have been it's a much better film. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, Boba Fett shows up like okay, okay, uh, Iron Man versus Boba Fett. Yeah. there's your fan fiction right there. Uh, all right, well, here we are off track wildly again. Um, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.